Right. Um, okay. So uh, what we'll do tonight is we'll kind of um, talk a little bit about uh, what happened last week. We'll kind of do a, bit, a quick recap. Um, we will also, I'm going to close this door because I'm probably talking loudly. Um, we will also uh, go over just real brief mechanics on how this game works. Um, once again, uh, if you want to go pick this up, you can pick this up at drivethroughrpg.com. Um, at least the uh, PDFs. I don't know what the situation is on their print on demands, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, so, um, how's everybody doing? Much better. Pretty good. Good. This is where, uh, we're talking to you, the players. Real good. <laughs> oh, us. Oh, hey, hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm not jumping in five, five to 15 minutes after stream started. It's awesome. Hey, <laughs> and I appreciate your sacrifice. I am not currently dropping a refrigerator on my foot. Right. Yet. Yet. That could happen. Mid game. Yeah. And it would hurt less because we're role playing, right? Yeah. Production value. We're saving it. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for those of you who are playing at home, um, you can put comments in there. Good. Hello, Merc. 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 I'm just going to call you Merc. Hi, He's Merc. there. And uh, so if you want to talk to us or uh, whatnot, go ahead and throw comments in there. Uh, we are streaming to Facebook and to the Zoe uh, Twitch channel. So that should be um, should be going. I, I'm not testing it. So we, we do I have one. Twitch. We're live there. Great. <laughs> and uh, perfect. Boomer. Yeah. So if someone wants to uh, check on Facebook, that'd be perfect, just to make sure. Um, those of you, okay, so, uh, and then players in the little private chat, uh, there is a link there to the shared spreadsheet that we'll be using for our um, aspects and things like that. So <clears throat> you'll want to have that up on a screen somewhere. Is it? I don't see. We're gonna have to repeat that because Brian is not here. Um, I don't see uh, the link. Don't see the link. I'm in the it private be... chat section, and there's nothing there. It might not oh, show yeah. stuff that went up before you came in. I just pasted ah, it again. There we go. Thank you. We don't get historical chats, apparently. And Facebook is running also. <laughs> Perfect. For now. All right. <laughs> For now. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so... Uh, once again, we are playing Demon Hunters, a comedy of terrors. This is DG Game Night. And uh, let's go around. Well, actually, Brian's still not here, so we will buy a little bit more time. Um, let's talk a little bit about what happened last week in the story. Does anybody want to start off? or? Yeah, there were sheep. Yeah. There were but they sheep. exploded. Sheep. So they were sheep. Mostly exploded sheep. And weaponized haggis. Weaponized so much haggis. weaponized haggis. <laughs> That's right. A little bit yeah. too much. I think any amount is too much. Too much <laughs> of weaponized haggis? Yeah. 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 So to quickly recap, uh, you received, uh, actually, when specifically received a, uh, a contact from a father, uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Where is my sheets? Father. Where you... From a father. Father, 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 father. Father, father. Father Colin O'Patrick. <clears throat> father Colin O'Patrick, uh, who is a famous Irish exorcist. Um, this is actually based on a real person. His name is not Colin O'Patrick, uh, but you you could probably type in famous Irish exorcist and you'll probably find who I'm talking about. And um, knowing how Don makes up fake names, it's probably Patrick O'Collins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I uh, I am not subtle. Um, <laughs> yes, and so uh, Patrick uh, contacted Gwen, and um, because his caseload is too much and he can't figure it out, and you were in the area, so um, why not send you folks uh, when you arrive? You were greeted by um, Sean McRowan, who was a uh, Irish local. He um, he is uh, the the neighbor of the farm in question. Um, and Shane was a sheep farmer. Is a sheep farmer. Was mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Shane? Shane is still with us. His sheep are not. Um, <laughs> Shane's well, sheep, sheep kind of yeah, Shane's sheep were, uh, sh Shane's sheep, Shane's sheep, um, uh, were brutally mutilated, um, <laughs> this is going great, wonderful, <laughs> this is a great night, I'm loving this, um, and uh, yeah, so uh, you are there to investigate the cattle mutilations. Uh, come to find out that uh, there is a indeed a uh, demon possessed child, ten year old. Um, her name is Morgan. Uh, she's in a townhouse uh, or a farmhouse uh, just up the road. You eventually uh, make your way to that farm, where the parking lot is entirely full of cars and people um there is a long line of people that kind of fall files right out the door uh, and they're going in and uh, through some investigation you discover that they are amateur exorcists they're all trying their hand at trying to uh, exercise this child and it's not going well um, you've put together that the mutilated sheep and the sheep zombies that uh that you uh, will get to that in a second um, were in response to the botched uh, exorcisms that were going on. So you arrive and just in time because zombie sheep start uh, descending upon the farm in question. You battled some zombie sheep and discovered that upon splattering, they eject a flying, uh, Animated murder haggis, mur murder haggis uh, which attempts to attach to your face and force feed itself down your throat, a little bit uh, face hugger style. Um, so Brian, uh, excuse me, Jack uh, got a little bit firsthand notice of that. Oh yeah, as, yeah. As uh, it is uh, haggis, terrifying. Yeah. Uh, he witnessed somebody else, actually, one of the exorcists, get uh, uh, this thing jammed into the throat and their throat expanded as it just kind of, bleh. Um And it was certainly trying to make his way to do that down Jack's throat uh, before he zapped it with his uh, electrokinesis. And uh, you had smelly awful at your feet. <laughs> In uh, Ireland, awful. the entrails read you. Yes. <laughs> awful, awful. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, when... I'm uh, Before we begin, I, I'm yeah. actually trying to share uh, our little, you know, DG game night here. What's the best way to do that? Someone have, uh, like, a, a link already plopped into some someplace? Not specifically, but if you go to the DG website or the, no, I've wait, been using don't, don't, don't go Never there. Do that. Don't go there. <laughs> uh, go to the DG Facebook page, I should say. Um, we are streaming live there. You can share that. Um, you could also share the Twitch stream, which is on Zombie Orpheus's Twitch channel, uh, and that's that's where we be. Okay. Yeah. Um, anybody who's watching right now, I'm, I'm going to be very slow to doing that. So if you want to also do that, that would be outstanding. Oh, I've been doing that. Wow. Hi. Awesome. That's right. Okay. So back where we were, um, when, when, That's were, me. as a, as a demon, uh, decided to, um, create a 
demon trap circle in the room with the child. Yeah. Um, it worked less well than I wanted it to. Yeah. Um, but uh, you did not get trapped in the circle, so that's good. Yeah, I was very careful. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then you discover that the only way to get this demon out of the child is to do the exorcist exorcism yourself. Yeah. So that's fun. Yeah. Is a demon I'm, gonna exercise another demon? I guess I feel we're like I'm out. not super equipped for this, but I'm gonna give it the old college try. Yeah. Hey. You, were, you were actually the only person equipped for it. We're no help, except that there is a herd of exercising exorcists yeah. coming your way because we just rallied the troops to come to your aid. I have so many boosts. <laughs> yeah. I've got two boosts that I created. The cat created an advantage and Biff created a triple advantage. That's right. So many boosts. And so, so we have, uh, and then we have a uh, feral cat, which is just a cat that... <laughs> Seems to cat. be able to kind of communicate a little bit, but uh, just showed up and seems to have befriended the demon friend, that child. Friend is a strong word. Well, that, <laughs> according to her, tolerate. Uh, friend is a dog word. This is a cat. It's, it's yeah. a little yeah. different. <laughs> that's right. And uh, and so th that's going on. We also learned a bit about who the demon is. Does anybody recall that stuff? Rush Kagal? The servant of Rush Kagal. Rush Kagal, yeah. that's right. Babylonian goddess of the underworld. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. But my character can't tell you guys that. Right. Because <laughs> I'm a cat. I feel like when is pretty cat like in nature, probably understands <laughs> what Feral Cat is saying. Sure. Yeah. Also, if you Google Fair. Arish Kagal, it's just pictures of an anime blonde girl. Yeah, that's <laughs> clearly who wow. it is. Oh no! That was, <laughs> that that was not my intention. And, um, <laughs> and so like the demon's Google name. Never lies. Yeah, <laughs> the demon's name uh, you found out is Unlocked Hazel, uh, and that's awesome to say. So, uh, and Unlocked Hazel is the herald of Eresh Kagel, the Babylonian death goddess. And, uh, and so Unlocked Hazel is out. Uh, you determine that it came from a owl statue um, or a little owl figurine about this, this big um, and uh, was you know, went into the child, uh, and, um, yeah. So the, the cat has knocked said figuring onto the floor. Like a boss. Yeah. And, uh, and then just, uh, just as the session ended a, oh. uh, where is it? Oh man. I was going to look those people up. The ninjas. I I that. Not the ninjas. <laughs> a limo hearse, a, this large hearse, rolls up and nuns start pouring out of this vehicle uh, with heavily guns. armed. So guns many guns. guns. And uh, one one of them gives, uh, was it Jack the Ursula. evil eye? Or was it, was it Ursula? Ursula. <laughs> So she's like, um, and yeah, so the Sisters of Divine Retribution are here. Which is so we all know who those people are, but just in case some of us didn't. We'll get, we'll get to that. We'll all right. Get to that. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's a good recap of, uh, unless anybody has anything else to add specifically. Um, I hid I, behind the priest. You what? I hid behind a priest. You hid behind the priest and you fed off him. I sure did. Yeah. <laughs> it's like holy water, but red. Yeah. 
So I don't uh, drink blood. I'm a succubus. Come on. Right. Uh, <laughs> when uh, I'm at the the, fer the feral cat and Ursula are inside the barn, right? No, I'm no. inside the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because that's where the sh the shiny thing was that yeah, I pushed the off cat, the. The cat and I are with the possessed girl. And I'm at the front door. Okay, I am outside the barn, but wanting to get in and protect everyone as well. And all these nuns are on their way. Yes, okay. Yes. And I am hurting okay. the exorcists. Yes. <laughs> Raven, Raven Shadows on Twitch is asking about this game. This is Demon Ooh. Hunters, A Comedy of Terrors. You can find this on, uh, yes, Dead Dunk Market, although I don't know if anybody's manning that. Um, and you can also find uh, this at Drive Through RPG. Um, I don't know what's going on with their print on on demand right now. This is what this you know this is a soft cover, which I actually prefer to uh, over the hard cover. Um, when the actually hard using pretty the book, sweet. the hard cover is awesome. It looks pretty on a shelf, but I haven't really it, found it to be all that ooh, like pretty. in use. Right. Yes, and then we have the leather bound, butamus version. Here, let me uh, let me blow that up. Yeah, there we go. We have that gorgeous version. Um, I don't know if there's any left. Um, I know that there has not been a reprint, so we'll see there. I'm not sure, but um, but yeah. So that's where you can find it. We will speak briefly, momentarily about how what are, what are the basics of the game. It is very much like uh, Fate. Uh, fate accelerated, maybe, um, but with polyhedrals instead of fudge dice. Um, so, so that's basically it. No. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. Um, where were we? Zombie sheep. Uh, nuns with guns. <laughs> and... Demons performing exorcisms. Yeah, demons performing exorcisms. Cats That's right. And now. Dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. That's right. Um, so uh, the oh, come back to that. <clears throat> um, well, let's talk about the game. Let's talk about how to play the game and what are the things that you'll get to see tonight. Um, so the the game. Essentially, I should have had this queued up, damn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's I your catchphrase. <laughs> yep, 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 it really is. Uh, uh, does anybody have a character sheet like on their desktop right now? Yeah. You know, not yeah. physical, like digital. Yeah, I got a digital one. Screen share. Yep. Yep. Okay, give me a screen share, somebody. Uh, Perfect. Let's see here. And then we got to do that. Maybe. Loading, loading, loading. That is what Keep those it looks like. Loading. Animated circle. Uh -oh. hmm. Is Brian frozen? Okay, let's, does anybody else have one? Was that Brian sharing his? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, well, that was a terrible mistake. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I got I got one. All right, let's try this. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Okay. Yay. Oh. And Brian will be back, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. So uh, Biff is uh, making the Brotherhood great again. Um, it's very hard work. Good thing Biff employs millions of people at minimum wage at no benefits to do it for him. Um, he's a, a capitalist tycoon vigilante. And uh, you can see that he has a couple of uh, things called a trouble aspect and disciplines. These are things that you can invoke with dice and they add D6 to your, your rolls. Um, and he can do anything with multiple approaches or using multiple disciplines. You basically com combine an approach and a discipline and roll that die. So where it says six or eight or whatever, that's a six sided die or a 10 eight sided die or 10 sided die. And, uh, uh, and then he has some stunts that are kind of ways to break the game. 
And uh, so the first one he has is health care is for the rich because I paid for it and you didn't. Once per encounter, I can ignore a binary condition. If there's a minion around, they might take it ex instead. Yes, uh, actually, Burke has a, a good point. Um, you have six sixes in your approaches. You should have uh, one of those should be an eight unless that was on purpose for some reason. Uh, well, you know, uh, yeah, I suppose he's sneaky. All right, we'll we'll do that. Cool. There you go. Sweet. Up upgrade complete. Same with uh, your disciplines. Right. You got two sixes. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks for the edit, guys. <laughs> yeah, you only get three disciplines, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Proofreading. Perfect. Uh, he doesn't need research and development. All right. So that means the rest of them are D4s. And yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So um, right. there are there are four actions in the game. There is attack, defend. Those are pretty um, understandable, self-explanatory type um, uh, actions. So if you if you're gonna attack, someone's gonna defend. It's an opposed role. There you go. Um, there is overcome an obstacle. This is often used uh, for things like kicking down the door, hacking a computer, talking somebody into something, um, you know, that sort of thing. And then there's created advantage, which is arguably the most powerful action in the game, um, where creating an advantage, you can do a number of things. And again, every single one of these actions uh, is uh, done by selecting an approach, Selecting your discipline, adding the two dice to rolling, and adding the two dice together, and um, and that is your result. And from there, it's also a matter of trying to decide if you want to modify that roll beforehand or afterwards. And we'll get to that in a second. So, uh, Chris, if you want to scroll up a little bit, so we can see your terrible aspects. Can do. <laughs> Thank you. So Capitalist Tycoon Vigilante is actually a wonderful aspect. This is very playable. Um, and a good aspect that is written uh, written in, uh, in the best way can be used against you and can be used as a benefit for you. Um, and so uh, and the, the, these aspects are ways to describe your character. OK, so if you are creating an advantage, I'm sorry, I need to go back to that, creating an advantage, so you can learn somebody else's trouble aspect and then put some dice on it, and that's called a free invoke. Um, and th these dice are always D6s. You could create a new situation aspect, um, could be anything, you know, a uh, bag of dice is a situation aspect with maybe a die on there. Um, there's a and there's a, there's also a situation aspects uh, peppered out throughout the game that uh, you can also sort of charge up by using the created advantage uh, action, um, and what that does ultimately over uh, the course of the game is loads the board up with uh, a bunch of free dice that if you can justify it in your roll, you can enhance your roll and make it bigger. Um, and so uh, the next thing, uh, just to kind of work this in, so these are aspects. There's basically aspects of the nuts and bolts of this game. Um, and they uh, – I lost my train of thought. Um, They're awesome. Oh, faith dice. Uh, <laughs> so every character starts with three faith dice, uh, unless uh, they don't for some reason. Uh, but generally, three faith dice, that's what the devotion there is, is at, at the beginning of each session, their faith dice uh, refresh to that number. So most people start with three. Um, and the, you use those faith dice to invoke your aspects, to use your aspects. So if you want to do something in the game, uh, do some kind of action, and you want to use one of your aspects so you can get a bonus die, you have to kind of justify why that works. Um so you do that all before you roll. You decide which aspects you're going to employ, if you're going to employ any. You pick your approach, pick your discipline. You just have to justify those choices. 
you roll them together, add a result, and uh, you're typically trying to beat a score of, of some time. Sometimes it's uh, static, sometimes it is uh, an opposed roll. Now, if that roll isn't quite enough, you have demon dice. Every character has three demon dice in front of them. They, they recharge all the time. Every single round they recharge. Um, but on any one specific action, you can only spend up to three dice on one action. Um, the drawback is every time the player spends a demon die, the DM gets a demon die in his pool. Uh, and I start with five because there are five players. And so demon dice can be used against the players. That's the whole point. And so it's a temptation. Um, so it's a way to cheat. If you don't like to roll, you can add some more dice to it. That gives me more dice. And I could use those against you later. Um, if you roll a one on a demon die, that is bad. And usually uh, awesome things happen. Um, According to whom? Me. <laughs> That's right. But it's not entirely wrong. Final thing are stunts. And stunts are basically just special moves that apply at specific situations that are really encouraged to break the game in certain circumstances. So um, Chris uh, read off uh, a few of his. Each player has their own stunts. They're unique to theirs, um, and you would you would write those. Um, and there's guidelines on how to do that. Uh, but anyway, now my characters as the DM, uh, I have uh, aspects and I have uh, uh, characters as well. But one thing I don't have as the DM are Faith dice. I don't have faith dice. All I have are demon dice. So if I want to invoke one of my aspects, I have to spend a demon die. So I'm really trying to get these players to feed me more demon dice. Um, now, sometimes you can use, as a DM, you can use the demon dice and say, I'm going to just grab three of them and I'm going to roll them together. And I've got this little table that I've written up. Or I can just, you know, arbitrarily roll them, decide what that's worth and ad hoc some new complication into the scene. Um, what, however you want to run it, it's your game. You can do it, do it however you wish. Um, yeah. Did I leave anything out? I don't think so. Did I kind of co cover most of it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think did my you explain building, uh, uh, building advantages? Yeah, I went through and how that gives you uh, more dice. Yeah, so that's the thing about uh, aspects is that they cost you your faith dice. But if you can create advantages, those create essentially free faith dice that uh, other people or yourself can use later on a, on another action. It's a way to sort of charge up the game, uh, do uh, uh, teamwork, and kind of help each other out and get some big rolls. Uh, towards the uh, middle to end of the game. So, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Let us recap who your characters are. Chris, we've already gone over yours. So we're going to skip over you. Um, and, uh, yes, very good. Um, no, no, that's fine, uh, Raven. We were actually planting on... Um, planning on uh, kind of doing a recap. We used to do this in DG King Night all the time is try and do a quick spiel about how the game is played because we wanted people to go buy it. And was, so you can still do that. Drive through RPG, dead dot market, off you go. Okay. Brian Lewis. Yes, sir. Who are you playing? I am playing Jack Bishop. He is an electrokinetic uh, person, very, very wispy thing, uh, not very bulky at all, very um, very thin, uh, very high metabolism, platinum hair, kind of blue hoodie, uh, wears sunglasses a lot because uh, my eyeballs tend to do lots of uh, electro, uh, elect you know, you can see lightning in my, yeah, in my eyeballs, so... 
I cover that up most of the time. And uh, yeah, I can manipulate and, and project, uh, you know, electricity and other things dealing with that. Also, uh, apparently, um, I'm, I'm not only someone who can do that to electricity, but I can also manipulate uh, magnetics. So that's neat. It's kind of like Magneto. It's true. Oh, I'm also a kleptomaniac. And apparently the leader of the group. <laughs> I don't know. I've been, I've been gone for like four years. I don't know. Apparently I'm still the leader, I guess. He actually That's stole that brother. position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sarah Moore. What, what, what position? <laughs> what now? Hi. Uh, uh, Chris was saying that you stole your position because you're a klepto. He's gone. No, yeah. no. We lost him. Okay. So, Sarah Moore, tell <laughs> uh, us about your yeah. character. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm playing Wen. She is a succubus, and she does all of the sex demony things. That's what she's good at. All of them. All of them. Wow. Um, she is the only out demon in the Brotherhood. Uh, I mean, I think that's that's pretty much her to a T. Yeah. If you want to find out a little bit more about when, uh, there is the Demon Hunter Slice of Life episode called Happy Anniversary, which yeah. you uh, wrote and starred in and Did. produced it. And, you get to see yeah. my sweet horns. I have really cool, like, curly horns. ram horns. Um, they're dope. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> they are dope. They are. And you should all <laughs> throw more money at us to make two more shorts because like there is that. more one goodness already written. Just saying. Yep. <laughs> and uh, some badass, like, short stories and longer stories that are freaking amazing. I just need to get podcast. them published, like, format. They're pretty much done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we'll figure that one out yeah. um okay jimmy i am playing uh ursula winfield she's the uh offspring of a uh, famed demon hunter and the horrible prop comic gallagher and she wields the uh ancient and deadly weapon the sledgematic <laughs> it never gets old <laughs> I mean, you really need to like make a a prop sledge. Really do. <laughs> you just like have it. Yeah. Croquet mallet. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Version. You can put it up, like you know, on your wall. Yeah, you yeah. Wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be great. All if right, you're watching. Hit me up. <laughs> Chrisilla, Chris Fisher. Ooh. Yep. Tell us uh, about your character. Well, my character doesn't really have a name yet as she has just recently followed this chapter out of the warehouse and they're not really sure where she came from. Well, the warehouse. Uh, there have been a lot of reports around the warehouse of just stray cats and no one's really sure how that happened. Uh, this one showed up wearing a tactical vest as well. So who the heck knows? It's the Brotherhood. Uh, but she is just seems to be following this team around for some reason, is somewhat more intelligent than the average cat, uh, which makes her way more intelligent than the average Brotherhood member. And mm, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but for whatever reason, she's stuck around and is really good at knocking things off tables, um, repeatedly killing zombified squirrels. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, now she's she's helping them against uh, a Babylonian death goddess or something. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, you also uh, are a part of a. Uh, oh yes, a group uh, Merc. That... Merc, lurk it. Link the Discord, Merc. Uh, uh, it looks like it's already been linked in there. Thank you, Merc. Um, I am part of the Demon Hunters GM Roundtable. Uh, we started as a bunch of GMs or people who wanted to GM uh, Demon Hunters at Gen Con for Zombie Orpheus. Uh, and we started our own little Discord and we run games. And we've been running games like this for since September. So uh, if you're interested in playing online, uh, we're working out some more options now that everyone is under quarantine. And everyone has so much more time now. 
for a game. Yay. So, yay! Uh, and you can also see more Adventures of Feral Cat there. There you go. And another character I just built that actually talks. It's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This this weekend I played 21 say. Shoggoths, and it was amazing. There's nothing wrong with using demon dice, guys. <laughs> You're the best! <laughs> Yes, yes. Listen to this person. Use them. <laughs> use them wisely. Use them well. Now that use I know how better. to light the shot, uh, this is now a face you can trust. Hey. hey. All right. Yes, and uh, if you want to uh, find out a little bit more about some of these characters, uh, you can go to the Dead Gentleman YouTube page. There's a channel, or there's a uh, um, a playlist. Uh, for DG Game Night, and we have 20 episodes there you can catch up on. We even jumped systems some way through, and uh, yeah, so here we go. Here okay, we go. here we go. So, where we left off, let me pull up our um, oops, I gotta put that on a different screen, I can't see. It. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. That one there. Pretty good. Okay. So we've got a, a few of these that are uh, still left over. Dead sheep on a stick. I don't remember that one, but that's cool. I just had a boost. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, okay. Yep, these are all still. Cal smelled the danger. Cat. 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 Yeah, I got a good danger <laughs> sense, but got I spent it. all those. Yeah, so, okay, so that one's gone. Um, no, I get yeah. to make more. Yeah, I think, yeah, the, those are still in play. Um, I do start off with uh, five demon dice, so I will have those right here for myself. Thank you very much. And do we get our demon or, or our faith die replenished. You get as many demon dice as you want, as <laughs> long as it's free. But faith um, die. But faith die. Yes, all your faith die refresh, um, and you have whatever your devotion is in faith dice. Uh, probably three. Um, all right. And then we have kind of a, a second scene that just unfolded. Uh, where I can find, really need to come up with a better system for this. Where did it go? Oh, here it is, it's right in front of me. So we also have Memo Hearse. Uh, and do me weather. It is uh, getting uncharacteristically do me dark and do me, and uh, the clouds are a special shade of dark that um, is um, uh, characteristic of omen like things. It's actually a Cthulhu Ireland. icon on my phone. <laughs> or Ireland, yeah. <laughs> or Washington State. No, it's uh, it's 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 even darker than that. It's it's you know how sometimes there's those uh, there's those uh, store like you're getting ready uh, and like I don't know what you're getting ready for. I'm can't speak right now, but there. Uh, you look on the on the horizon, it's just maybe rain or it's just about to rain, but there is like a clear spot uh, that is blue sky above and there you can see sunshine, but down below, like directly below that is like super dark. Um, and sometimes though you have these like compartments in the sky where it's like daylight, but not daylight at all. This is like a lot of that. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, and you have nuns that are coming forward. Couple, couple of things. So, uh, let's see here. You all are brotherhood agents. 
Um, trying to figure out what kind of roll I want on that. I don't think there is any specific rule. I'm just, yeah, I'll just tell you. Uh, you you would be familiar with the Sisters of Divine Retribution. Their arrival is bad news. You know that. it's uh, They are essentially uh, a religious extremist, militant extremist branch that uh, long ago broke off from the Brotherhood. Um, they tolerate absolutely zero uh, supernaturals. And so any of you who have supernatural abilities, um, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be part of the target. Um, I'm probably uh, fine. Yeah. We'll just stay in the house. <laughs> so, <laughs> not draw attention to myself whatsoever. Guns can't cross a threshold without being invited. Right. I think you're thinking of vampires. Oh man. Yes. And Mormons. And Mormons. True. Are they Mormon nuns? No, they are not. All right. Well, they are specifically are aggressively not. Catholic. <laughs> is there any other way to Catholic, though? Right? Oh, there's also recovering Catholic. Mm, those, that's right. Those are the two. Okay, I'm also going to add um, a Sinestra that has come into play. Zombie, cheap, Attack. Um, yeah. And I get, I get two free demon dice for that. Mm. Convenient. So now I, now okay. I have seven. Sinestra <laughs> number two. Uh, let's see here. Excuse me. Let's go, uh, Sinestra. Sinestra oh, for those who make it up. <laughs> yeah. Sinestra, for those of you who are watching at home, um, are bad things that happen that I have predetermined. Um, and uh, But uh, the first one you have avoided. And does it give you anything? You know what? Uh, you avoided uh, the first... Sinestra, and so everybody gains an extra faith die. Hooray! Yay! Woo! Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, I'm actually going to delete that and move it over here. It's not the greatest spot for it. We'll all probably forget about it. Um, and then. There are five Sinestra, and you have avoided one. One came to pass. The next one, you're close. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, uh, how many um, how many nuns are there? So you have. Yeah. You have a gaggle of nuns, but two in particular. Uh, let's see here. Jack, I suppose you probably recognize them. Oh, good. Ur <laughs> Ursula does. Ursula recognizes Sister Constance Oakley, um, and uh, that's bad. Uh, this pistol packing penguin is a foot, foot soldier in the Sisters' Army of Righteousness, battling the forces of evil through prayer, ministry, and raw firepower. Sister Oakley isn't known for her mercy. Uh, she considers it her holy duty to cleanse the world of abominations, and she's doing a bang-up job of it. She and her six guns have punched the holiest of holes in more monsters than she can count. Also, a uh, group of nuns is technically called a superfluity. Oh, really? So there's that. Cool. Cool. We have that. Uh, and then uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Jack, you recognize. Um, oh, Jimmy, you're going to have to help me out here. I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can sit, uh, say her last name correctly. Uh, Sister Helen, Helene, Hel Helena. 
Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to check this now? Years ago it's that I wrote that. Something Japanese. Mochizuki. <laughs> sure. Mochizuki. <laughs> Mochizuki. I don't recall this being a backer character. It wasn't. It's. I think you created based on the original construction of. Uh, 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 it, it was some kind of sword master in ah. Japanese folklore or something. Or Got Japanese it. history. I don't recall exactly. Okay. Names are. Well, when, they do, when bullets don't do the trick, uh, the Sisters of the Divine Retribution call in the Nunjas. Nunjas are the Sisters' most elite fighting force, and Sister Helena is one of the best trained in the deadliest of the papal martial arts. Uh, sister Helena is a holy vengeance personified. She and her shuriken sling slinging sisters pulse with a righteousness, a righteous powerful enough to repel vampires at 50 feet and burn out a demonic possession with a touch. Uh, or more Don't likely like the sound a, of that. <laughs> a flying kick to the solar plexus. She is feared by all who oppose her and most are allied with her. Uh, and most, and, and she's feared by most who are allied with her. Uh, she is a ninja, reverent warrior beyond compare. So I'm going to continue calling her Sister Helena because good call, Helena. <laughs> and uh, she's the one that led uh, kind of the way into the house. She's she's spoken. Oh, they're through. in the house already. Oh shit. Yeah, Sister Helena. I would in argue the house. that they are not in the house because I was at the front door. And okay. my first move is going to be to uh, bash the uh, supporting columns of the front porch and collapse the front, uh, front of the house onto the front door to just seal it off. So mm. Ursula's my girl. Because if they get up to win, yeah. it's game over. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So and I'd like to I'd like to blame the uh, resulting damage to the house on the nuns. <laughs> yeah, Obviously. their fault. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> oh, we broke him already. We just started. <laughs> <laughs> the, we, we, we're part of the Brotherhood, and and the uh, the sisters um, they they used to be part of the brother, Brotherhood, but they they kind of veered off at some point. You yeah. know, uh, mostly because of the uh, you know problem uh, with the nuns had with the Brotherhood um, um, having the the, uh, the supernats involved, yeah. right? Yep. So so the them time. showing up isn't like great news, but it's also isn't it kind of like a strange ally, a strange ally coming? And uh, if we're depends dealing with on how high your us. social engineering is. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose that's true. <laughs> and as long as Jack keeps his shades on, he should be fine. <laughs> well, man. Yeah. Just stay a vanilla the whole time. See if you're going to be very any, any, any good use. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. okay. Well, uh, I, like, I like Jimmy's suggestion. <laughs> I'm going to go with it. Um, so you're at the uh, you're at the door, and uh, Sister Helena um, approaches you, and she says, "Out of the way!" And that's when I just <laughs> <laughs> I'm creating an advantage. Okay, <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, one on a. On a approach or discipline, you re can re-roll. If you want to give me a demon die, yes. Happy to. Okay. Oh, that's the opposite of a one. That's awesome. Whoa. That is a 19. Woo! Yeah. Did you just create squished nuns for me to use? <laughs> <laughs> Nun paste. Oh. None well, that is a success with style. Uh, Excellent. Jimmy, what does that look like? Uh, what does it look like? So I, <laughs> I, I bash the, the front columns of the porch, and the entire thing collapses down over the front doors just as the last of the exorcist goes running through. And, uh, yeah, so it's just, just rubble sealing off the entire entrance. 
with uh, you inside or outside? No, I'm st I'm still out there. That was just kind <laughs> okay. of a. I didn't even break eye contact with the with the nun. Just so power <laughs> move. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine here. So yeah, I uh, I oh use my aspect Ursula Smash, and I also uh, use the extra added mass of the dead sheep that was attached to my <laughs> mallet still. So oh <laughs> that pre invokes God. <laughs> awesome. Oh, all allowed. All allowed. Oh no, she knocked Brian off the stream again. Oh man! Damn it! You hit it, it so hit. hard. It was a hard hit. <laughs> the yeah. fell off the internet. Uh, okay, so Jimmy, was that uh, the dead sheep on a stick? Was that a boost? Yeah. Or was that an okay? So all right, so that's gone. Yep. Um, yeah, it obliterated the sheep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, sheep chest burster crop circle. <laughs> I remember that one? That's my favorite that's band. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah, that was I'm an interesting. Uh, I'm interested to see if someone can use that. Uh, Jimmy, you gotta you gotta create your aspect here. Oh yeah, and call name it. it. <laughs> Not in that field, I don't. Ward versus ninjas. Just call it bar the doors. <clears throat> okay. I just got an aspect cookies. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so we have we, quite a bit of situational aspects and scene aspects here. We've got the stench of death, lots of dead sheep. Uh, there's still a, a couple of zombie sheep uh, uh, straggling around, although uh, we'll we'll get to that in a second. There is a looming feeling of dread. I would call it more overtly feeling of dread at this point. Um, it's a high stress situation. <coughs> There is still a barn with assorted farm equipment. So there is a when we left, uh, we were creating aspects to help uh, mm. with Wen's uh, yes. yeah. ritual, yeah. ritual had, that she was going to do. And one of them started, was heard of exercising exorcists. So yeah, that was a three that we took the invoke off of that. That had a three um, on it. Done. Okay. That one. You're not yeah. stealing three dice from us. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not today. Um, I'm going to use them anyway. <laughs> okay. Right. Very good. Um, we have a bunch of parked, now wrecked cars. Mm -hmm. uh, because Biff uh, decided to... <clears throat> fake news, fake news. It was um, the sheep and demons. Um, that, was, that was how I created the... Um, or charged up the herd of exercising exorcists with a 27 telling them all about how they, uh, they had wrecked their cars. Got it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, Biff, your herd of exercising exorcists, have you given them any particular instructions on how to help or? Yeah, Go help the the head exorcist. Like your your services are needed right now. All right. Um, <laughs> I mean, they'll know what to do. <laughs> I'll tell them what to do. I guess. Yeah, when's in charge? Don't worry. <laughs> Ritual cannon fodder. That's right. <laughs> Yay! If I have to feed on every single one of them. <laughs> It's a sacrifice I am willing to make. I don't know if we can distract these nuns for the length of an entire orgy. <laughs> I am very efficient. I can get what I need and get out. <laughs> okay, so uh, before you win is uh, is this scene. It's uh, you've got a uh, and Lachazel is is uh, being noisy uh, within the child. Um, we have a cowering priest that has basically passed out at this point um, because of your uh, loving caress. And um, and then uh, in walks dad. Um, dad? With, 
with a fifth of whiskey um, and uh, from the, from the kitchen. So there's a, there's a second door. Um, and, uh, hmm. and yeah, everybody brace for John's drunken Irishman impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm real excited. No, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he's just uh, standing there in the doorway sobbing. Uh, that's all he's doing. Great. Um, well, then he's a roadblock for any nuns that got through. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There is that. I would. Um, I would love to try to just start this exorcism. <clears throat> okay. So uh, now Ursula just went. We're going to go ahead and start uh, our initiative situation. And uh, so Ursula, you can uh, choose who goes next. Excuse me. Um, now, remembering that we have a, a couple of groups of people here. So where should we put that? We'll put that over here. <clears throat> Let's go back to this screen. Nope. This screen. This screen. There we go. That's better. Whatever screen. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to call this... Uh, uh, sisters... Uh, we'll just call them ninjas. Ninjas. It's more fun that way. <laughs> okay, we've got ninjas. We've got. Um, let's see. <laughs> civilians. And we have uh, zombie sheep. And we have big bad. Um, zombie sheep and big bad. So let's combine those into baddies. That one's gone. Yeah. Okay. So we have three, we've got three groups that need to go. They will go separately. Um, and just remember that uh, if the baddies uh, don't get a chance to go by the end, they get to go twice. Yeah. All right. So. Hello, Jack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ryan joining us via PowerPoint presentation today. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> That's right. All right. So, uh, Ursula, who goes next? Um, let's see if that cat can figure out a way to uh, boost up this ritual a little bit before it gets going. Yeah. Okay. Well, I already uh, knocked the magic shiny thing off the table. Mm -hmm. um, so, are all those those uh, ritual people in the room with us already, or is it just the girl, no. the dad? Okay, it's it's just uh, so in the room right now is uh, the girl uh, tied to the bed. Uh, mm -hmm. Wen is there. You are there. The dad is there. The priest is unconscious. There are people outside the door. Um, okay, was well, the door open? The door is closed. <laughs> When closed it before uh, uh, as she went in, um, and but there are there are other exorcists in the hallway, um, and then uh, you hear people outside. Obviously, okay. Uh, are we on the first floor or the second floor? There is only one floor. Oh, okay. Um, and there Pretty is a second far away door. Some stairs last week, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh well okay there is a second floor then <laughs> okay um but the dad came through another door in the room hmm. i'm glad that you yes never mind i'm getting my layout all screwed up here uh da, da, da. like Do like some it? options yep okay so we have we're gonna play with zones tonight folks all right so uh, on the 
first floor is the living room, kitchen, um, dining room, bathroom, and then there's some stairways up to the bedrooms. Uh, and the bedroom uh, off to the right and down the hall all the way at the end is her room. Uh, and her room has a sharing door to the next, uh, to the bathroom. That's what it is. Hmm. So the bathroom has, uh, yeah. So, so dad's been sitting on the toilet, crying. toilet drinking. <laughs> dad's been sitting on the toilet drinking and crying. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, so that's how, so. Uh, so as you walk into the door, there's a hallway, and then you can see the stairs as it goes up. Uh, off to the left, you uh, see the kitchen, the dining room straight ahead. Uh, there's like family rooms, and there's probably a bathroom somewhere over there. As you go up the stairs, you'd go around, um, and her bedroom is right there. There's a line of people up the stairs okay. uh, coming around, and then... Uh, yeah, and then, but the hallway kind of continues, um, and there's a, a larger bedroom uh, next to the, on the other side of the bathroom. Uh, yeah, so there you okay. go. Okay, because what I would like to do is um, basically uh, herd cats and get those exorcists up here and calm down and ready to do something actually constructive for us. But if those doors are closed, I can't actually get out to where they are. Unless you I actually out. spend my term opening the door, which is hard for a cat. Well, I do so, have a thumb, uh, but you know. You do. You do have one door that's open, and that's okay. the door to the bathroom. And the bathroom door uh, is cracked. Um, oh, okay. I'm to the uh, on the exterior. So, so, so the one door that leads into the bedroom from the bathroom is open. Dad's standing oh, okay. there. All um, right. Uh, so I zoom out of the room and uh so i'm going to flashily social engineer uh and i'm going to use my stunt worship me minions uh which gives me a plus two to social engineering rule meant to bend targets to my will and i will add a faith die for the discipline all shall love me and despair as i start alternating between yowling loudly and being absolutely adorable and getting them to follow me through the door uh, that hopefully someone will have the sense to open. I want to do the thing. Okay. So when sees the cat suddenly zip out into the bathroom. Not too bad. Uh, ten. I get a fifteen. That is a success with style. <laughs> so uh, to build that advantage. Uh, so. Uh, what you want to call it? Um, herd of noobs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that should have two free invokes on it? Yes, it should. Let's see here. There we go. Herd of noobs. Noobs. <clears throat> Noobs. Noobs. There we and go. Zero BS. There we go. So two free invokes on that. Um, the noobs. So we, go ahead. What were you going to say? Uh, so so I guess what happens is the cat shoots through to the bathroom, down the stairs, and then for everyone in the bedroom, then they hear the door open and the cat is just sort of calmly walking back with how many how many noobs do we have to work with um, following me yeah there's because I i'm a cat know. in a tactical vest right i'm inherently uh, trustworthy you have 10 you have 10 all right so like, what the 10 what they do is they decide to form a prayer <clears throat> ring ish so they they all like form an arc around the door because they can't all fit in the room so they're gonna all fit up. so from the bathroom uh all the way to the round to the uh, outside of the door 
uh, <clears throat> linking hands um, and uh, actually, no, they don't know what they're doing. They, they're just going to come up and follow you and they're just like gathered right there and like, oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. So, ki kitty looks at, at Wen and is like, well, these are for you. Do you know what to do with them? Because I don't. <laughs> I always know what to do with them. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I choose who goes next. Uh, so I seem to remember at the end of last week, someone was talking about using a whole bunch of uh, sharp hunks of metal and some electricity to make a fence around the perimeter to hold off undead sheep. Yeah. We also uh, have nuns. Un unless, yeah, we've got nuns now. So uh, yeah, assuming he's not about to fall off the stream again, I, uh, I will jump. Uh, Feral Cat will popcorn over to Jack. To Magneto us uh, a perimeter. He He's moving. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive. Most of the time, Coming you get it live. From, it, it Coming sounds, to you live it from like, Ireland. Jack <laughs> Fisher. All right. I stepped on your joke. I'm so sorry. Can anyone hear me? <laughs> um, so I think I know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's weird. Like to you guys, yeah, very, Do you very need quickly. Me to I yeah. hear it, and then and you guys all sound like you're from outer space. Got it. Live from New York. Just assume you know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> we'll yeah, roll good. for him. No. <laughs> you um, are outside. Yes. And uh, Ursula has just caved in the porch. Right. Got uh, it. The top is down. Um, the front door is no longer accessible. Okay. There is the side window that you were able to get your drone in through. Excuse me. You assume there's a back door. Um, uh, it it's pretty obvious the nuns are pissed and probably figuring about Plan B. Okay. Uh, yep. You you are you were by the barn if I if I remember correctly. Oh, so yes, um, <coughs> it's possible they're not even paying attention to you. Okay. So hopefully they are not. Um, and looking at something else, um, I'm, I'm going to see if I can try to uh, make my way around the house and go by the barn and like, you know, see if I can kind of like magnet myself some, um, some barbed wire and a staple gun that's metal and uh, grab those two things, spin around to the back door and then create a barrier <clears throat> and then electrify it uh, on the back door. Wow! That's I was going to see if I was going to see if I can do like a whole perimeter, but that seems like there a are... ridiculous thing to do in a, in a round. What? You're like super fast, right? Sh sure. Do it. <laughs> Not do it. Not. <laughs> well, I mean, like okay. it doesn't make any sense for the the the, the barbed wire to be just around the building well, because there I are if there's. Well, I can create a circuit, but as soon as the, the barbed wire would touch the ground, uh, the, any electricity I pass through the, the barbed wire would be mm -hmm. would ground, and it wouldn't do any good. So, I'm going to see if I can, like, you know, grab the thing on my way around and staple the door closed. So at least I can create a barrier. Is that creating an advantage or creating an obstacle? Well, it would be creating an advantage. Okay. Yeah, cool. uh, it's an advantage that. Uh, can be overcome, yeah. Um, but it's an advantage. So, um, yeah. Can I do that in one round, or is that going to take me one than one? Depends on how high you roll. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could do it in one round. I think you could, you know, uh, magnetize like you know, grab these things. Kind of just come to you. You're dragging it. Yeah. You're running. Um, you're, you're not going to be all that discreet if you want to do it in one round. But that's probably fine. Um, I'm okay with yeah. that. Okay. I would say you need to beat a 15 to make it flawless. All right. Let's see. I'm going to... Um... <laughs> I'm going to use my aspect of mild klepto with authority issues and uh, also my stunt 
of because I have the finger on the pulse of the magnetosphere, I gain a plus two when I cleverly create an advantage with technology and or electromagnetic fields. That definitely applies. So um, let's see. Here we go. Where, where are we at here? Yeah. And um, I'm going to get that. Uh, that's a fringe. All right. So I'm going to do a fringe on that one. And uh, let's see, a D6 uh, for the faith die and a plus two. So all three of these plus two, yeah? Yep. Woo! Yeah, baby. That is 20, 20, and then 24. 24. That'll do it. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> That is a successful yeah. style. <laughs> and with that, he drops the mic. <laughs> I just I just got out a bunch more D6 because I feel like I'm going to be ro rolling a lot. All of them. <laughs> yeah. Boom. I'm sorry, you were in the middle of praising me. What, what, what was that? <laughs> it ate up so much bandwidth that choked him out. <laughs> Like a wrestler. <laughs> yeah, that is an amazing success with style. Uh, so you get you'll get two two dice on that. Uh, what Ooh. do you want to call this? Electrified um, barrier. Uh, you shall not pass. <laughs> That's right. I wanted to make put in a an, an electric pun but I couldn't find <laughs> not pass uh, to remind myself what that is electrified uh, hard wire stapled uh, across back door <coughs> very good uh, oh, are... uh, right before my turn is over, I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, still electrify that that um, that barbed wire, but I'm also going to like be inside the house and move away. So just in case, you know, no. the nuns come up with guns and, and look inside, they can't see me. Uh, just drop to the floor. <laughs> you're going to do the. You're going to. Um, I see. So you're going to uh, do the stapling in. from the inside. Yeah. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so uh, Ursula is gone. The cat is gone. Wen has gone. Wen is not gone. Wen is not gone. This is a new gone. round. Okay, we're, and so we're setting her up. We have a Wen and we have a Biff to go, and, and we have some bad, bad, bad Three news. Bad okay. guys. Um, I am going to go and give it to Biff. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Um. Oh, you know, all right. Sounds good. Um, so I would definitely like to um, uh, make sure everyone knows that uh, those nuns with guns, they're here destroying our houses and stealing our jobs. We had this exorcism thing perfectly, you know, they're literally stealing by the our union, jobs. and they are here to steal our jobs. So... <laughs> I'm going to use uh, uh, my social engineering discipline. And I Don't think I'm gonna... excited about something. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I think I, I should do that cleverly, uh, especially since I um, have the stunt, the poor still vote Republican. I get a plus two when I cleverly create an advantage with social engineering. I know Biff is yeah. on that side, but I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Try to convince the demon to just jump into Biff. <laughs> no. We'll leave him for the nuns. He's better. <laughs> um, I think it's appropriate um, to use hashtag fake news. My uh, discipline there, so I'll be using a faith dive for a hashtag fake news. And here we go. I'm going to uh, oh, all right. So that is a 13. Okay. Um. 
I'm, Remind uh, me what action you were doing. I'm trying to create an advantage that we could use to like defend against the nuns or thwart the nuns in some way. Um, ah. Okay. Cannon fodder. <laughs> so that that's enough to create an advantage um, with one free invoke on it. What All does right. it look like? Uh, that is uh, none in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't I think it. we <laughs> I don't think that we should have Wen go because uh then you're the, the last bad guys one. go last. Yeah, no, let me I'll I'll mop it up at the end. Okay. All right. We're I think we've big, I think we've set big. you up pretty well. Um gosh. Yeah, all right. So the question is is uh if we if I pick the bad guys Gosh, you know, if you I don't pick know. the sheep, maybe they'll attack the nuns. The nuns have probably already noticed that we're the problem. That's true. I don't the know. Sheep what you're and the nuns about. are going to go at the same problem. time. Oh, they're going. Oh, okay. We're not, we're not the so it's just ones. all the bad guys go at once. Gosh, yeah, them, sheep so could know. attack the nuns. So I don't know, Sarah. What do you think? Do you do you have this? Because I I feel like we could just like go just for knock it, it out now. now. Just knock it out now. All right, I mean, I, I have a bajillion dice to roll, so uh, roll them. All right, let's do it. So wait, Chris, okay. are, you, are you suggesting that the I, nuns go after the sheep? Is that what you were I'm, suggesting I'm, before? No, yeah. he's suggesting the bad guys go twice at the end of the round. Yeah, but Ooh. but if we do the ritual first, we might be able to like kind of. I don't know. Right. Then, then they're going to start picking off Brotherhood agents instead of demons. No, yeah. they'll start keep picking or up demons. Both of us. Both of us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Let's let's see. Let's live on the edge. Let's yeah. see what happens. Let's do All it in. now when Don barely has any demon dice. Yeah, let's do it now. <laughs> I'm I'm in with that. Let's do it. I've got eight. I don't know what you're talking Ooh. about. <laughs> okay, so Sarah. That's me. <laughs> I should get a your... boost for that because I identified it. Your target is mm -hmm. 40. Okay. Remember, your target, target is 40. Is 40. Um, for, every, for every five that you beat that target, uh -huh. it will reduce uh, the time by one hour. Wonderful. Oh. Um, don't worry about this is happening very fast and whatnot, uh, and that it's still it's still going to take hours for her to deal with this. But I'm factoring that into what this role is doing. So, um, but you need to beat a 40. Okay. Um, you cannot use none in my backyard. Well, that's bullshit. Um, <laughs> Look at how many dice there are. I want to use them all, please. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I can use a motivational speech, firing them up to do anything for the cause. Yeah. <laughs> well, the herd of noobs I can use. Hell yeah. And all the right. herd of you can use none in my backyard. Yeah. I can... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're buying us time. Yeah, but buying me time. I'm starting to I'm starting to interpret that as I'm reading the uh, the aspects right now. We have ancient little stone owl figurine. I'm definitely Her using that. Heard of exercising exorcists. Yep, that too. Uh, bar the doors. Yes. Which is the front door uh -huh. yep, that Ursula has crushed. Uh, we have herd of noobs that are like right outside the doorway. Yes. Uh, he shall not pass. So the back door is electrified and mm -hmm. um, and barbed wired, and I'm still not clear on none of back my backyard what is oh, going oh, on with that. I know, but. I know, I know. Uh, it helps to think about aspects uh, advantages thematically. So some of these things are things that when will actually use in the ritual. Others are buying time to stop other forces from stopping the ritual. Yep, right. Unless Decreasing the length of it by an hour ish. Actually, oh, sorry. Um, I'm remembering one particular rule about the ritual. Oh. You can only use 
four advantages. Oh. In this but I could use res- boosts and stunts and things. Yeah. If you had a boost, yes, I do. You can, I have two boosts. And, and you definitely have stunts. Yeah. And you can use those. Um, but you can only use four advantages that were created for you. Um, is it just four additional die or like I can use the herd of exercise and exorcist and that gives me three dies, but counts only as one advantage. That was my question. As well. So by the more book, more you'd only, <laughs> by the book, uh, you would only get, um, one die from each aspect, yeah. but because this is kind of the big wad here, we're going to say you get, you get all of them. Okay. Um, and you can and, blow the whole wad. But here's have- the thing. I want you, as you roll this and figure this out, I want you to think about each die is something that happened that helped you achieve this. Die. Okay. Okay. So as you're building that, just think about like, here's that aspect. What did it do? If there's three dice, it did something three times. Um, what does that look like? Um, and you don't have to have that prepared once it's rolled. We can we can figure that out. But I just I want to play it out that way. Sure. Um, so are you allowing me to have all of the boosts or four of the boosts? I'm confused. So there's there's two two things that's going on. One is you have personal boosts, right? Personal ones that you specifically have on your character. Yes. Because I then, need priest. Right. Then there you can choose of the situation aspects that have been created for you, specifically ancient owl figurine, herd of exercising exorcists, bar the door, herd noobs, herd of noobs, you shall not pass, and none in my back door. Uh-huh. Uh backyard. Not a back, back door. No also back not door. in my back door, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh you can choose four of those. Four of them. Great. All but right. you get the dice on all four of them. Okay, so I'm going to choose um, the herd of exercising exorcists mm-hmm. and the herd of noobs. I like herds. Hey. <laughs> One, two. Um, I'm going to use the ancient stone owl figurine because he's in the room with me. Yep. Um, and then I'm also going to choose... Um, the, I'm going to say the electrified vent. You shall not pass. Okay. Um, and then I also have my boosts. Yep. Goddamn okay. boosts. And then I also get an approach, right? And a discipline. You do. Okay, yes. great. The, the I'm assuming- basic role of the game. I'm assuming that it's a print. Well, I don't know. There's so many dice in my hands right now. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so on top of that, on top of that, when, so you yeah. have your approach and your discipline. Yeah. You can also invoke using your faith dice. Oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Different aspects that uh, are on your character or in play that you can justify. All and right. you should probably just roll three demon dice. Yeah, well, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> just, give me, just give me a minute. She can choose after she rolls. I can, and I'm gonna. Okay, so um, I am going to. I'm assuming it's a fringe thing. Yeah, it's whatever because, you want it to be. Well, unless you have mystic cards, I do not. Um, so I'm going to do fringe because I'm going to be tapping into my demonic power and I'm hoping to be clever about it. So I don't also somehow exercise myself. It's helpful. <laughs> it Good goals. feels that way, right? Um, I've done that before. It's not fun. Not cool. Um, I feel like I can draw on my knowledge of my trouble aspect being the only out demon in the brotherhood, I would have been probably exercised from the plane before and would know how to sort of reverse engineer that. I'll buy it. Um, 
All right, so that's one buy faith. That for a dollar. Uh, can I use can I use all of my faith die if I want? You can, but you have to use different aspects for each one. Yeah, good. Um, I feel like social engineering, my mouth gets me where I want to go, is literally what I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, so well, your aspect, your aspect. Yeah. My mouth is where I want to go. Yeah. Aspect. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. the okay. social engineering one. Yes. Um, so that's two. have two more faith. Mm -hmm. um, well, I feel like powerful pheromones are just. It's weird how that's me. normally an any window, but. Yeah. Um, powerful Bye, pheromones Brian. are just the beginning. Uh, I'm going to be channeling all of my demonic powers into it. And I am a concept. Can I invoke my concept aspect? Yes. For sure. Uh, yeah, Hansi Succubus turned master negotiator. I feel like if this doesn't, <laughs> if this doesn't epitomize the being a demon and negotiating another demon back to hell. I don't know what does. True. So is that your standard roll and 13 D6? Uh, no, or it's uh, 15? 15 D6. My standard roll is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 D6 and 2 D8. Yeah. Yay. The largest roll I've seen in this game. Got you that this applies to? I am stunned, stunned, stunned. <laughs> I'm, I'm using my succubus power, right? I would say so. Hell yeah. Whenever I'm attacking using my succubus power, cause a You're not attacking. attack. Not attacking. Not attacking. Uh, you're doing an overcome roll. That's all right. Mm. I can, I'm not overcoming anything sneakily right now, and I'm not overcoming it using my memory, although that would be dope because it would just mean that I automatically succeed. So <laughs> can I use that one? <laughs> Put these dice back. <laughs> Don't need them. I know we took a long time figuring it out, but I just succeed. No, With I'm going to make you roll these dice. All right, here we go. Um, I, so what's ridiculous is that I don't think I can fit them all in my hand at one time. So you're going to hear more than one roll. Yay! Sure. But it's not because I'm yeah, like... Small person okay. over all the ones. Tiny okay, person. So before you roll, yes. Tell me about like what your goal is. What how what does this look like? Like if if you're successful, yeah. What do you what are you negotiating with Unlock Pezzo? What what are you where is he gonna go? Uh where you're gonna get him out of the child if you're Correct. successful. Then what? Um, I, I would like him to go back home. Every, all the all demons have, as I would know, uh, like an origin spot. If you get exercised, you go back to that place. You like pop mm. back up where you started from. And you have to figure out back how to Sometimes get. Sometimes it's difficult to find the origin spot. Uh, <laughs> mm. we could put him just back inside the statue mm. for now. Um, yeah, you know, so as long as we take him, uh, first goal is out of the child. Um, and then it would be great to, I guess, up to the team. Do we want him back in the statue or do we want him like get him gone? Gone, oh, gone, cool great. statue. Cool I, statue? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it seems like statue was working out for a really long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can put him in the statue and then stash the statue someplace safe. <laughs> Does anyone know which would be easier? Or rather, which one would be uh, more likely? Statue or back in the etherness? Would I know? <clears throat> um, with that many dice, I would say... <laughs> You know, blast him to hell. Yeah, just gonna. <laughs> I, I will. I will factor that into um, my interpretation of what's going to happen. Um, things that you would need to think about is if you try and banish them to whence it came. Uh -huh. What if that place doesn't it's exist here. anymore? Oh, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna put it in that dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we 
they are successful. Like the of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the demon going into the dark. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah, Can Brian. That knock Brian off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he did not uh, like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe, um, maybe He's into like, this. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Fuck this! I'm out. Um, yeah, I think out of the kid into the statue. Fair. Okay. Here we go. All right. I need to get a forty. A forty. That's your target. First half of the dice rolling now. <laughs> All right. Six, 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 six. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at 30. <laughs> so I think 30, we're good. 39, 40, 45. Hold on, I need to roll some more dice. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty-five. Today the gaming gods were kind. Sixty. Sixty-four. Sixty-nine. Sixty-seven. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. So. It takes eight minutes. Five, <laughs> five hours. So it's going to take three it hours. Two hours ago. No. Three hours. It's going to take a total of three hours. It normally take you eight hours. Yeah. Um, it will take three hours. Let me make sure I have that right. Hours to complete. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. That is the case. Um. And Lax Hazel has had no time. <laughs> hey, wait a second. If what? you roll a one on a discipline or a approach. Oh, roll it again. <laughs> roll it. <laughs> yeah? Right? Yeah. Hey, Don, Don gets a demon die. Which is fun. I think that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Hell yes. Rolled an eight instead. Okay. So instead of 67, it's 66, 74. It's 74. 74. Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> if you roll the demon die, it could be one hour. Yeah, but if you roll the one, then you no. Know. <laughs> 74. Yeah, you need one more point. Do we want to roll a demon get, die? Get the, we all gotta right. fight all these nuns. <laughs> 74. <laughs> Roll the six. I got an eight. Damn it. <laughs> Zero time. <laughs> wow. He's just in that statue. <laughs> I just went, seriously, though, wasn't it cool in here? And he was like, you know what? You are correct. And then he just <laughs> jumped in. <laughs> you know, you're right. <laughs> you doubled. The opposition. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. Never send a human to do a demon's job. Yeah. Okay. Apex predator high five. <laughs> 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 Baddest bitch in the neighborhood. <laughs> okay. Well, the good news is, uh, for me anyway, most of your aspects are tapped. Um, <laughs> Real quick I mean, though, what does the ritual look like? <laughs> yeah. What was this? All right. Okay. So, uh, when is getting ready to like get this? Uh, you know, basically to, uh, you know, this is going to take a while. She's she's putting the pheromones out and getting the the people out around um, oh, yeah. real revved up. I'm very uh, leaky. We've got. Uh, we've got like uh, obstructions that can't get in. Um, the exercising exorcists are actually outside, like <laughs> doing their exorcist stuff, um, and uh, and attempted to do that. And uh, Sister Helena decides to stop and contribute. She has no idea what's going on, but she feels the power 
and she's like, if I can help, this this will this will work. Yeah. Um, Where she's, go? Vibing. <laughs> she vibing. she's vibing. She's vibing. She's vibing. She's she's picking up on it. Like, oh, oh, that is she's that's going to be successful. Down. That that's gonna <laughs> wait a minute. Something <laughs> weird. Something weird. But that's gonna work. Gonna have to come back to that. Uh, <laughs> oh man. And um, extra Hail Marys later. That's right. Uh, the ninjas uh, are occupied with um, sh dead sheep, uh, but there is a stack of dead fried sheep against the back door. Um, it's really <laughs> smelling bad now. It smells like last um, mix mutton. <laughs> there's been splotches of like entrails that looks like they've been ejected and hit the wall. And uh, yeah, that didn't go well. Um, and you have a, a, a glowing owl statue on the floor. Um, and the thing is what, what's actually ha happened is that you have kindly, remotely, um, stirred up everyone's sex drive within a half a mile radius. Um, and this wasn't holy. This was not any sort of <laughs> holistic ritual. This was following a recipe and using what power you had, at, you know, at your disposal. Yeah. And you happen to be able to tap into a lot of that ass. Um, all the ass. All of the ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, you are like, no, we're not going to spend hours. This is getting done now. Alok Fazel is getting ready to like fight back. And before he even understands what's happening, he's back in the owl. Yeah. He succumbed to the little death. <laughs> Many times over. <laughs> They're gonna be some babies made tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Started my army. That's Imagine right. confession tomorrow. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> Great. That's what happens. How how long did it take? Just like like a minute. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly short. <laughs> Imagine an intense ritual that lasts eight hours condensed into a minute. <laughs> Everyone is just like exhausted. J yeah, they they're are. so tired. But, like everybody's smoking a cigarette. They feel so great. <laughs> like they're like smoking with the a little uh, premature exorcism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, what do we have left? There are no dead sheep left. There are no zombie sheep left. They are gone. Well, okay. So, here's what happens in the following round because the bad guys are going twice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they're going twice. <laughs> they're not going to stop until they get to finish twice. Okay, that's right. Um, so the ninjas um, they finish off all of the zombie uh, sheep. There is nothing left. It's it's dead. They killed a bunch of live sheep just to be shaped. So. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Double tap. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. they're very efficient <laughs> and thorough. Um, and so happy right now, <laughs> happier than they've ever been. They are actually. This it, it's kind of this uh, <laughs> uh, this mass holy ecstasy thing of like um, the righteousness That's being able to are. rain down upon uh, the abominations that are raiding this and fueling their own energy into. Whatever's happening in there, the Brotherhood must have this one figured out, um, and uh, and they they're uh, yeah. So the, they're 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 not ready to kill 
any of you at the moment. <laughs> right. They, they're feeling quite fond of us, as a matter they're, of fact. They're, they're dealing well, with some aftershocks. You know? <laughs> they are. And, and the very fact that they don't know it's when, and they don't know that there is this weird cat, and they have not even seen Jack Bishop do his weird thing. Um, all our supernets. <laughs> the supernets uh, are so you're left with uh, Ursula and Biff as your spokespeople to the sister. I don't feel great about that, but they also feel good. So maybe. <laughs> and you know what? If the sure. shit hits the fan, I could teleport out of here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so at that point, uh, let's see here. The civilians will go, and they um, take a nap. They, <laughs> yeah, they're feeling pretty home. spent. They, they, in fact, a lot of them are actually like getting in the car they're giving each other hugs they're exchanging phone numbers <laughs> there's a lot um, a lot of touching right now happening. there's a lot of touching they've all climbed out the windows to do this <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's still a lot in the parking lot yeah okay. <laughs> um, and those in the house they're like uh, <laughs> yeah uh they're a little embarrassed to be honest um their pants are uncomfortable uh, <laughs> and uh they'll have to deal with that they start making their way uh meekly down the stairs uh, but feeling rather satisfied with themselves so satisfied <laughs> um, yeah uh let's see here the uh yeah it's gonna have to be ursula um biff, left. <laughs> biff is gone <laughs> Constant I'm sister con <laughs> God. Sister Constance o Oakley comes up to Ursula um and uh and says what just happened? That was us getting the job done. <laughs> uh, and uh sister Helena <laughs> Her hair is like is kind of poking out from her. Uh, I forget what you call that. The habit. Uh, the habit. The habit. Yeah, and it's a little disheveled. Um, and uh, she uh, she looks like she could use a cigarette. Um, and highly guilty. She's feeling rather guilty. Um, and uh, uh, and then she steals herself. Gets real pissed off. And gives uh, Ursula a uh, an okay then <laughs> look. All righty. Um, call you back in next time. I have a problem. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and uh, she's like, "What's with the doorway?" Why'd you have to break their house? Friggin' penguins running I heard that was fucking up the ritual. <laughs> I heard it was your fault. Mm. <laughs> I heard it was your fault. <laughs> that guy over there said it was your fault. Tired of you glory hounds rushing in and taking the credit for our goddamn work. We're not affiliated with her! <laughs> <laughs> well... <sighs> The sisters can't really argue with that. Um, <laughs> they're like, okay, well, the job is done. I can feel it. We need we need to see uh, before we can leave. Uh, we need to see that it's complete. We need to see the kid. We need to inspect the place. Hey, pass that glowing statue out here. <laughs> um, you don't so, even know it exists. No, so. uh, yeah, that's true. Po yeah. Point of order. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. It has been established that when can hide her demonness and appear human. Yes. So I'm gonna do that. So am I. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm 
I'm going to scoop up the cat. Okay, I'm going to scoop up the cat. I'm going to look like a lady person. And I'm going to carry the glowing <laughs> statue down um, <laughs> next to the weird guy in the glasses <laughs> and a comb oh. as a mustache, no, which, he's, which he definitely stole from the drunk crying dad. Um, <laughs> and I'm going <laughs> to come out and uh, say it's all taken care of. And I'm going to so you Go check it out. We're gonna take care of this. Me and my cat. Okay, so uh, Jack, yeah. do you do you undo the back door then? Because how else are you gonna get out? I certainly feel the, the uh, <laughs> electric. Um, now there's yeah. just a pile of sheep there. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean. Like, are they coming in? Or they they want to see? Yeah, yeah. And and the ninjas they like help. Oh, they can uh, <laughs> remove the 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 fodder, Bar the barbed wire. Um, and, oh yeah, <laughs> the the barbecued uh, sheep. Um, yeah, um, and uh, and innocuous. Yeah. So um, so you you walk out. Uh, I want to when I need you to roll an overcome roll against a fifteen. All right. That feels like fringe. Oh no, probably covert ops, right? I'm trying to pass undetected. It can be fringe. I I, I could believe that. It's whatever your highest one is. That's covert <laughs> ops. I'm going to sneakily start there and work backwards. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sneakily um, try to uh, hide with covert ops. And I got a. Nine plus seven is a 16. Very good. Um, you uh, you are able to pass by them. Um, you you uh, reveal the statue and say you were able to put it in there. Um, and that, uh, you know, standard brotherhood procedure, lock it away for eternity. Yeah, um, totally. By the book and all that. Yeah. Definitely and nothing weird happening there. And uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it can wait because uh, you're right in the middle of you know this whole thing going down. But I, I mean, I just had a question about the uh, demon inside the, the the statue. Okay, we'll go back to that. Uh, His name's Carl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he prefers uh, to go by. Right. So um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Sister Hel Helena gives you kind of a quizzical look. Um, but gives you a nod. Yeah. And um, she she heads upstairs at, while uh, Sister Oakley kind of surveys the scene and downstairs in the house, interviews the dad, um, gives him a lot of shame. Um, Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, rubs his head in some holy water or some some oil. Douses it in some. And, uh, yeah, the, this is your go. Take a shower. You're just... <laughs> yeah. Um. And uh, they uh, they spend the next about hour and a half, two hours, um, kind of uh, uh, surveying collecting whatever information they need, and then they all end up piling back into the hearse and drive away. That's it? Uh, oh, man. I mean, like, they're, 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 I, I'm, not necessarily, I'm not necessarily wanting an altercation, but, uh, like, you know, they, they're, they're certainly uh, aware of how long this this usually takes, right? I mean, like, this is they know this is an eight-hour ritual, and all of them just kind of, like, you know, notice oh. something was happening, and then realized like it it happened in like within a minute. It's and been oh, pretty wow. clear. It's been pretty clear that uh, this exorcism like <clears throat> situation has been going on for a while, unsuccessfully. Yeah, okay. You know, so there's been a lot of like attempt at this. They just kind of figured that was part of it. You know, oh, okay. um, plus they're all blissed out, man. I guess. I 
I, I mean, like, I don't know. I just, they're just kind of, I mean, there's not even like a, like a pat on the job at a boy, you know, like there's nothing or at a girl, actually, I should say. At a demon. Like, at a demon. <laughs> no, no, they don't, they don't give a shit about you people. Um, <laughs> they, they want to make sure that you did the job, which you they did. Left us. <laughs> and um, they made sure that, uh, I mean, their whole purpose and they, blatantly explain this to you uh was first off they didn't know you're going to be there mm. uh they were called by father owen um to uh to come and um you know be the big guns on this uh and uh and you beat him to it and was father owen the you, same one who called when yeah that's my question no uh, okay. Father Owen was the okay. was the Seven. guy slumped in the chair inside the inside the room gotcha. that uh, we Wayne acquainted. fed off of. <laughs> the, Father Owen, and I. yeah. <laughs> well, now Father Father Colin and Patrick is the one that is the famous right. exorcist that called Wayne. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so they you you have actually uh, avoided uh, two more Sinestra <laughs> with a roll of eighty something. <laughs> yeah, I'd say we did. <laughs> yeah, Woo, we've avoided uh, the apocalypse. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why there's six. That should be five. So there's only one left, and. Um, so you all gain, um, what would that be? Three faith dice. Woo! That's good. I used all mine. <laughs> and yeah. Wow. Um, I have more than doubled. Nice. <clears throat> Good work, team. Yay! Yeah. So the situation is kind of like <laughs> climaxed. And sure has. We've got some <laughs> resolution going on here. Um, like what we do with the statue. You've, we you've got some nuns. Mm. Hell no, they don't get our prize. <laughs> Can I um can I ask my question about the statue? Yes. Is now a good time? Go ahead. So um what when did was was uh it, it, it trapped the, the being in in a small little figurine that uh, will have been be placed in like an oubliette somewhere in the brotherhood never to be seen again. Mm -hmm. Um is that technically more secure than if one was just to be banished to hell in this scenario, like it seems like if someone was just banished to hell, they would like start from hell, but then like they have their yeah yeah they could come back and that's different. You know where this one is. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Um, um, in this particular instance, uh, it's it's definitely more secure um, because um, as uh, so epilogue uh, you. Find out that and uh and um, Ereshka Gel, their realm was like crushed, taken over, and like there's there's not hardly anything left. Ereshka Gel is imprisoned in this kind of um, limbo type realm, um, and his purpose was to try and break free, get somebody that could um, break her out, uh, so that she could be free again. Hmm. Um, so but we uh, sex magic the crap out of that plan. <laughs> yeah, right. you did. Oh yeah, you and um, Erish uh classic nemesis is always a Nana, so that scans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should. Well, uh, again, my sexy times. That's right. That's right. Uh, I I highly encourage uh, you guys to check out uh, Erish Kigel on Wikipedia. The <laughs> Some of the the, the lore on it is rather fascinating, and there has to do with um, a lot of death, a lot of sex, 
um, going into the underworld. It's very colorful. Um, That's my brand. It's it's very very interesting. Um, and uh, there's a second half of this adventure that I haven't written, that I haven't planned out. I gamed part Just of it, and it didn't work out all that well. So I, I haven't quite figured out the rest Do of that. But I know Do we'll, we'll figure that one out <laughs> later. Um, but uh, yeah, so Unlock the Zell, um was basically trying to um, escape. Uh, he was able to sort of... Um, make uh the the site known uh through rumblings and other kind of power that he could kind of pull together which uh caught the attention of the institutions that um called morgan's mother out who is an archaeologist and um basically found this this particular dig um next thing and Lark has all knows is that uh, it was shipped from from its site to Ireland uh, for no explanation. Um, there was <laughs> one thing you discovered is that uh, you found the box that it came in. There were no instructions in it, uh, but the box on the outside had some weathering uh, and some writing on it, and you you were able to decipher that it said do not open do not touch um and of course uh dad what do you just think thinking, they mean by that i don't know dad just thinking that it was uh, a gift from mom um opened it up and uh morgan first thing grabbed it and boom uh demon was like okay we're we're going and then you'll find that uh uh, in your conversation with Enlark Hazel uh, on your way back, that he was rather pissed off that he uh, found himself uh, possessing a child. He was going for the dad, um, and that didn't exactly work out for him. Um, it turns out, uh, you know, uh, children are not uh, physically capable as much as he was hoping to be um in this situation so um joke was also kind of on him in that regard whoops and all of this and inter information would have come out organically but we kicked its ass way too hard <laughs> way too quick <laughs> monologue shoot it in the neck <laughs> I've used that as a, as a scene aspect. Not now, I'm monologuing. <laughs> right? Yeah. Get him. Completely. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, so um, we're an hour short. <laughs> Just read the rest of it, dude. This reminds me of the game you played where you had an entire thing planned out on an oil <laughs> drill platform in the middle of the ocean, and we just blew it up. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I had I had a lot planned out with what Alakazel was going to do with his turn, and, that didn't happen. <laughs> and I think Wen should go next. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess we learned a valuable lesson Yay! here, everyone. <laughs> Always let everyone. me go before the bad guys. I'm very Char sad that I have. I have Charge me up and then set me free. <laughs> Place the I have battery. nine demon dice. Nine demon dice. And I couldn't <laughs> use a single one of them. It's true. Uh, Ain't that crazy. Very helpful. Oh. Sometimes the party will just burn down the tavern and you use them all on our trip back through customs back into the US. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> And the start of the cor uh, coronavirus is uh, right then in game. Whoops. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they were Still. not practicing social distancing. Right. No. At all. So uh, let's talk about next week uh, and kind of going forward. So this wraps up this particular adventure. We did. Um, I have another adventure lined up, ready to go for uh, the next excursion. Um, does anybody feel like, um, 
do you want to give somebody else a turn? Do you want to, are you ready to come back? Um, the other, the other situation that I'm kind of uh, thinking about too is uh, what I call palette cleanser one shot sessions where I will run He-Man nice. um, for a one session. In, <laughs> and I was thinking I could do that in between the demon hunters and using John, the same system. Yeah. I was going to ask, so you're, you're using the demon hunters system, but applying it to a, a uh, world that may or may not look exactly like the copyrighted He-Man world, right? Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Basically. Great we can time. we can run He-Man. It's it's there's no <laughs> issue with that. Um but um, is wonderfully adaptable for like any setting. I'm I'm building a metaverse module for Gen Con with Faith Core. Yeah, if nice. if Gen Con happens, it, yeah. it might not. We don't know yet. Yep. Yeah. So, and uh, if you guys are uh, following at home, there is a uh, Faith Core. Uh, Faith Core is blogger. the name of the system that runs yeah. like, Demon Hunter system built off of. And um, let's see here Blogger, Faith Core, All Posts. What do we call I, I don't know what the address is to this thing. Let me take a look. Uh, no, just view the darn. Okay, so it's called Faith Core, F A I T H C R P S dot blogspot dot com. You can check that out. Um, and uh, I have this adventure and um, two others available, um, both of which we'll be playing on the show. Um, so, um, so anyway, uh, I, I kind of put a call out. Um, there is a couple of people I'd like to bring in. Um, I need to find out what their availability is as far as how long they could commit. Um, you know, Chris Odie was interested in making an appearance. Um, I don't know if he wants to do a one-off or, or others. Um, there's been a couple others too that were ex expressing interest. So we've got um, a max of six players at a time on the system. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, which is a bummer. Uh, so five players total plus me. Oh, yeah. Um, Was well, that just because of the uh, the program that you're using, or yeah. is it? Uh, Streamyard only supports six people at a time. If you divide yeah. a square into seven things, it like gets all like non-square. So. <laughs> I mean, we could have more. One, one. We could have more players if somebody was local and they were sharing a screen. You know, that could that could be a thing. But social distance. That's going right against the social distance. Yeah. Well, if it's in your family. Wide angle lens. <laughs> um, I I'm willing to um to to uh you know sit sit out for other people to come in to uh, do some he manery. Uh, especially because like <laughs> it's a, well it's it's a bit lost on me because I, I didn't grow up with the he-man as as mm -hmm. I, i've um, you know mentioned before uh to you cats who had actually grown up the right here uh, however I, gray skull yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have power. yeah. What up? that's pretty neat I actually, uh, I we went through all of the Netflix, um, you know, uh, She-Ra, uh, which is outstanding. Yeah, the new one really is good. Good. Yeah, so really good. good. Really, really, really good. And uh, so I was like, okay, well, I didn't grow up with this. Let's let's take a look see. And then like I looked up some of the the He-Man that was came out in 2012. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that was a lot of stuff. Did you not grow up with it because you are not old enough, or because you like missed it? Like how? I, did no, no. I my my uh, my mother uh, didn't allow me to watch it because gotcha. apparently it was too violent. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that which is really okay. funny because it was specifically not violent. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I like, threw a rock nope. near Skeletor. Yeah. No one ever actually punched anyone. Wow. wow. Well, they weren't I was like, hang on, how did it miss you? Because I was like, I think we're the same age-ish. Yeah, it was around. Uh, just, uh, yeah, didn't, uh, just didn't, wasn't allowed to watch it. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I did. I did uh, watch some of the other ones that, like the, the newer one, and uh, that was 
ridiculous that some of the fight scenes in those like <laughs> the weird gill creature taking like this th belt buckle and it turns into a sword but instead of using the sword he uses that some sort of ray thing it's it that's it's a weird cartoon yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yes. the one guy with the head gets we embrace longer. the weird yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so that'll be fun though well, well uh yeah. I'm up for more Demon Hunters. Uh, I did technically watch He-Man as a Child, and I don't remember any of it. So, yes, for Demon Hunters. Uh, also, because I seem to run half the games at our uh, GM roundtable, it would be really nice to play sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. sure. uh, though I did already talk to you about bringing in a character that actually can speak for herself. That would be great. It's fair. <laughs> it's really fair. Yeah. And she's a source. She's a... Well, this one, I have a spellcaster. I can create more. It's not that hard in this system. <laughs> hey, guys, I can communicate with you now. <laughs> hey, guys, now also, uh, shut up. <laughs> I've got some one-shots I'd like to give a give a shot every now and then, so. Oh, yeah. I'd be happy be to wonderful. DM every now and then, so. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So is that, is that what's ne that's going to happen next week is, is uh, Hemanery? Well, um, we could do He Man or we could do a Jimmy One Shot. Jimmy One Shot! Or we could do He Man. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I don't know. I got a week of uh, working from home. I probably got time. I, I still have just a, a, a germinating idea uh, for He Man. I, I could play it week and just run the same one that I ran last time, but this time for an audience. Um, I haven't done that yet, um, but I am working on a, a new idea that um, you know, I saw Merck is a Transformers fan, and I'm a huge Transformers fan. Someday I'll show you my collection. That is an understatement. <laughs> yeah, huge. And so one of the things I've been trying to figure out with the system is how to do Transformers in the system, and I'm still working on it. Um, but I've got some ideas and uh, I am all about crossovers. If anybody knows me, I, I want to combine everything into one universe all the time and force, even if it's force fed, I'm happy with that. And so, um, so I, I'm, I still try to figure it out, but I have a, I have a, uh, a, a, a seed of an idea for a He-Man um, adventure. I'm not sure how one shot it is. I need to put some more thought into it. Um, that takes one of the mini comics, maybe two of them actually, uh, and possibly some other comics that I have been reading recently that uh, oddly fit in. So, did you get uh, the collection? I did. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the He-Man mini comics is not the cartoon. Um, totally, almost completely separate universe. Very interesting. So that's good fodder because not everybody's going to be familiar with it. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah. How about next week we do uh, we do He-Man? I'll I'll reach out and we'll solidify uh, five players. Um, I'll go ahead and make that determination of who, who that will be, uh, just to make sure that everybody can show up. Um, and uh, we'll need to be very active in character creation because I don't have everybody pre-gen figured out yet. Would so. that be like during stream or would that be prior to? You prior know? to. Prior. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, characters characters beforehand. I, yes. I, I have a, I have a, um, uh, just something I was going to say, like, um, it, feel free to reach out to those other people uh, just so other people have uh, an opportunity to be doing this because it's a lot of fun, you know, yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you can't find anybody, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll hop on. Uh, no idea what to do in that world, but that, that might be fun too. So, hey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me too. If you can't, if you can't find anyone else, my availability is total. <laughs> I have no life. The adjective that I would describe my people these days. Total. Total. Total <laughs> I so like, yeah. Weirdly, I have more work now than before. Um, wow. Also, I am currently playing in four streaming games a week. Ooh. Nice. 
So well, you can take a break if you want it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind doing it certainly, but like, uh, like Brian was saying, if there's if there's somebody who's like super dying to play He Man, like, yeah, yeah. I don't want to take their spot from them. Um, cool. But would Especially love to play. Sure. So w willing, but let someone else. I I don't know that that fan. However, if you ever do Ninja Turtles, like Dib. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. Right oh, and uh, I, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but since we have a chat folk, uh, like, hey, chat folk, if mm. you want to see someone specifically oh, yeah. for the He Man uh, yeah. one off, yeah. you we should put that, that in the thing, in the chat. Yeah, you should tell us. So they can be like, oh, I will invite that person. So very yeah. helpful. Yes, thank you, Brian. Also, if we're <laughs> if we're resurrecting '80s cartoon shows to play, then there should absolutely be a gem in the holograms one. Hell yeah! Wow. Just saying. <laughs> so uh, the way I'm putting that together, because I've thought of this, um, gem in the holograms is in the same uh, sort of continuity as GI Joe. Uh huh. Uh, and of I'm course, sorry, is that canon. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it is. Okay. But it is it now. Happen. Definitely. Um, and uh, and so that's that's how that can work. Word. Uh, I because like okay. the original cartoon, maybe not the most amazing cartoon, but uh, the IDW comics uh, oh, the yeah. reboot that they did was so dope. Um, Okay. So good, and they they stopped the run of it. It's it's done. Yeah. So if you get it, you can read all of them that were made. Um, but there, it's the best. Yeah, I am a diehard IDW fan because mm -hmm. that's where all my Transformers are. Um, and uh, but I've been getting into the DC He Man stuff as well. The Masters of the Multiverse right now a storyline is so freaking fun. awesome. <laughs> so good. Yeah, man. So Ooh, the Holograms is on uh, Comixology Unlimited. So yeah, excellent. So, so, uh, Kimber is my favorite. Just tossing that out there. Pink hair, bisexual. In. I will need to check that out. Uh, I am currently reading uh, Transformers versus Visionaries. Oh. Um, visionaries. Everybody remember that? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> How did that go? It was like, uh, well, while you're looking that up, uh, before we before we sign off, which is something we should do soon, um, seeing how that everybody is sort of in the same uh, boat of um, looking for things to occupy their time, um, uh, does anyone have any shows or books or things that they like, have they have seen that they have like, oh, you should check this out because we're all bored and and wow. if you haven't seen this, then you should. Uh, I just finished reading a dope book if you're into murder mysteries and or time travel. <laughs> and it is called The Seven and a Diagram. Half. Yeah, right? <laughs> the Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Oh. Uh, and the premise is that the person that you are following through this book is trying to solve the murder of Evelyn Hardcastle. And every morning he wakes up in the body of a different host and relives mm. the same day over and over until he can solve the murder. Nice. It's cool. It's wow. Dope. Like it. That's like Groundhog's Day times a million. Yes. It kind of reminds me of the um, board game Time Stories. Yes. I played that. Yeah, it's very it's much like it's, and uh, there are so many twists that I was like, because I read before bed and there would be times that my husband would be like, what are you reading? <laughs> because I would be like, oh, like audible casting. <laughs> and he was like, trying to go to sleep here, babe. I'm like, sorry, but there's a thing. And it happened. OK, um, so yeah, everybody read it and then tell me because we need to talk about it. <laughs> Merck in the comments pointed out there is a virtual ZoeCon in the works. Oh, yes. Information forthcoming. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So if there's things that you want to see us do there, please let us know. 
I didn't know we could talk about that. That's awesome. <laughs> well, the cat has been like, I don't know, know that we can, can, but we are. This is it's happening. Of course, so. <laughs> Sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what you, be Brian, convenient. what have you been reading and or? Uh, I, I I have I have been um, going out on walks, reading a uh, the, something called a Brent Weeks the Lightbringer series, uh, which is uh, fantastic and and I'm a bit off the radar, um, but uh, I think that it's up to five books now, and uh, it's it's excellent, very very short and sweet, you know, like really um, action packed and and uh, very, I mean, there's elements of of, of gaming in there, like. Um, Ever, uh, the, the the magic form is is by color. Uh, it would take more time to explain than like I have right now. But anyway, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, so that's the, the Lightbringer series. Uh, I think the first one is called the Dark Prism. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, as far as like watching something, um, we just started watching Veep. Oh, nice. it's delightful. Yeah, it's very, very it's fun. It's a very fun show. I noticed that the Flex server is full of you watching Veep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Harmon Quest, actually. Oh, very fun. Now, yeah, like uh, speaking of, 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 uh, uh, of, of I, I was interested in watching a thing that, that uh, encompassed someone sitting down and playing video games for an audience. And I, I, I mean, because when you when you think about that, that those two things don't seem like they jive very well. But um, so anyway, Harmon Quest was was very uh, awesome to to see like a a show that is over in, you know less than thirty minutes or something like that, and you know, and able to be episodal and and entertaining and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, highly yeah. recommend. Uh, this Thursday, uh, Zoe is streaming Demon Hunters Two: Dead Camper Lake. Oh, no. And, has asked, <laughs> and I, I have been asked to appear uh, and provide commentary and or answer <laughs> questions. Ooh. I would, if anybody wants to join me on that, I'm there. Chris, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> uh, I'd love to get, uh, I don't know if Vansel's uh, uh, blah, 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 available, but um, but yeah, we've got Hair Doctor and uh, Ichabod, so that'd be fun. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I will. Uh, I will be drinking. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, will be <laughs> when is this <laughs> happening? Environment heavy drink. Ho- hopefully, the audience is too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lots of drinking. It will be. Um, I believe it's uh, Thursday, somewhere around six o'clock. Um, I'm not sure the format. I'm not the host. Six Pacific. Yeah, Pacific. Uh, we, fact, if if we, you are uh, if you are watching and uh, want to have a beverage, uh, I dare you to drink every time you see. No, don't. Something <laughs> like a script or a <laughs> microphone <laughs> on camera. <laughs> no, That's good. Don't do that. We'll, don't. we'll figure about that. Um, a filmmaking yeah, so, those of us uh, who would show up on that, we need to have Skype and uh, be able to be ready, uh, sign on around 5.50-ish or so. Uh, cool. So FYI, in case you need to get home from work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at <laughs> work. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to plug my Discord again. Uh, Mercurkwee has the Mercurkwee. Why can I never pronounce your full name, Merck? Merck has the has the link. Uh, well, yeah, because Priscilla is is so like vanilla. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been told. Uh, hey, if, if you want to learn more about, mm, if you want to learn more about, or just have questions about the game, uh, Demon Hunters GM Roundtable. Uh, we all have tons of free time now to talk about how the game works. If you want to run your own. Uh, we are doing very own. fun stuff with the game. There's, there's a Muppet so chapter. Cool. There's an all yeah. vehicle chapter. There's all car, all oh, sentient yeah. cars. That's Merck's game. It's amazing. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm b- basically building a New York City based setting where everything's borked. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. That's so, fantastic. and if you have character questions on how to build your own characters, like we will talk your ear off. 
Uh, and just earlier at the beginning of the stream, I was talking to Merck in a separate window, and we're going to set up um, getting my when short stories available on. Hell yes. For everybody. Cool. Um, Sarah wrote a novel length collection of when short stories, and they are amazing. And she um, needs to finish them. <laughs> <laughs> and make them well, available. <laughs> the first one I think I'm going to release is the one where Wen joins the Brotherhood. Excellent. Um, Great. Sounds so awesome. It's a good one. That's a, a longer one, and it's basically finished. I just am going to go over it for formatting stuff, and then I'm going to send it off so that we can get it. Out so when will that be? Soon. <laughs> Remember when. I, you know when it's going to be is during the quarantine. <laughs> However all long that lasts. All yeah. those hot passion projects we've been waiting for a chance to work on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad I still have to have a day job. And um, I'm all, my blessings on that's, that. That's a that's a good thing, Don. It is a, a good thing. Have a, I know, a, yeah, but have a, a day job for sure. <sighs> <sighs> Heavy. That was like a Midwestern sigh, friends. That was. <laughs> There's like lip action. Welcome it's, home. It's like because because I'm home and it's work. I they have they know uh, they have more access to me now, and That's I am working more than I should. In I feel you. I know. Um, I know. There was a question you. in the chat about what Wen would do in quarantine. Um, is Wen it? is a demon and is not subject to your petty human viruses and so <laughs> she would not have to be in quarantine but everybody else would be going crazy in quarantine and so she'd have easy pickings i think it would be like a buffet <laughs> so. when's making the rounds to get yeah. companionship to these I poor mean, isolated I'm humans. helping everyone <laughs> i'm like the best care package there is she's a demon so she just burns the virus off so she can't be a carrier either Perfect. Nice. Let's heat up. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Hey, you want to fool around? What's going on? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I seem to have lost my clothing outside. What are you doing? <laughs> it's part of the burning. You can use your phone. <laughs> Ta da. <laughs> Shall we say goodnight? Yeah. Ta ta. I think so. I'm sorry I broke your game. No, <laughs> you break it. That. That's what it's designed for that broken. role. <laughs> yeah. It's literally designed to do that. <laughs> Great. So yeah, very good. Okay, well, um, I don't I, I haven't decided if we're gonna do um He-Man next week or if we're gonna do Demon Hunters. I will make that determination and I will make the announcement and all that stuff very soon. Um I just need to get uh shiz together and um yeah so keep watch uh we'll post that um same way we did here and um yeah good night thank folks good night and thanks very much don appreciate it Goodbye, friends. thank you Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.